So let's start with uh, uh, oral presentation 41, comparative effect of crude extracts of two Sri Lankan medicinal plants, hepatitis diverticata and vetiviria zisanoides against medicine resistant Staphylococcus aureus, presented by uh, H. Ratnayaka, M. H. N. Dizoyita, R. P. Hevavasam, W. M. D. G. B. Vijay Ratna. The present, uh, it will be presented with by uh, Dr. Ratnayaka. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Hasanga Ratnayaka from University of Ruhuna. Uh, my title is Comparative Effect of Crude Extracts of uh, Two Sri Lankan Medicinal Plants, Hepatitis diverticata and Vetiveria zisinoids against methicillin resistance Staphylococcus aureus. Hepatitis diverticata in Singhala, in Mudamahana, and Vetiveria zisinoids in, uh, in Singhala, it is Savandara, uh, have been using in treating skin infections in uh, Sri Lankan traditional medicine, uh, but in vitro studies on these plants for multidrug resistant organisms were not available. So our objective was to uh, find out the antibacterial activity of these two plants against clinical isolates of MRSA. So we extra extracted the constituents in the plants into hexane water and ethanol solvents and we, then we evaporated all the solvents and they, to have the crude extracts and all the tests were done to the crude extracts separately. Uh, we used 20 MRSA um, uh, strains isolated from pus samples of patients having skin and soft tissue infections admitted to teaching hospital carapitia and along with that we used uh, methicillin sensitive standard staphylococcus aureus as a positive control. And then we tested bacterial susceptibility using this diffusion assay. And um, then we determined the uh, minimum inhibitory concentration using uh, broth of the plant extracts, using broth microdilution assay, uh, using 96 well plate methods. And in both assays, we used uh, vancomycin as the positive control. And then we did all the test, tests adhering to CLSI guidelines. So in, uh, you can see in Epeltis, all the types of extracts inhibited all strains of MRSA. So you can see the inhibitory zones of uh, uh, plant extracts against vancomycin. So the diameter zones were given in the table. And in vetiveria, except the water extract, uh, both hexane and ethanol extract inhibi inhibited majority of the uh, MRSA. Uh, you can see the inhibitory zones against vancomycin. Then we determined the minimum inhibitory concentration and the percentage inhibition of MRSA. So you can see uh, hexane extract of both plants inhibited 75% of organisms at and below 0.064 concentration of the plant extract in milligrams per milliliter. And then uh, hexane extract of vetiveria, you can see it in inhibited about 55% of organism, organisms uh, at or below 0 0.012 or below concentrations. And then uh, ethanol extract of epeltis and vetiveria inhibited uh, 45 and 70 percent uh, inhibited 45 percent and 70 uh, percent of the organisms respectively at the concentration of 0 0.096 milligrams per milliliter of the plant extracts and then water extract uh, 80 percent of organisms were inhibited at the same concentration. So this study shows the preliminary findings of antibacterial activities of hepatitis uh, uh, and vetiveria against MRSA. So both plants are equally effective against MRSA uh, at a MIC of 0 0.064 milligrams per milliliter. Uh, but we suggest vetiveria is more effective since the hexane extract inhibited more than uh, similar to 55% of MRSA strains at significantly lower MIC of 0 0.012 milligrams per milliliter. 
So one of our previous studies confirmed the presence of phenolic compounds, alkaloids and flavonoids in these two plants. So the chemical constituents belong, belongs in, into these classes may have this antibacterial effect. And since hexane extract was proven as the most effective extract, so you know that hexane is a non-polar solvent, so uh, most probably that we suggest that these uh, plants, e plant extracts may have consist of low polar active phytochemicals which represent the antimicrobial activity. So fractionation, purification, identification of active compounds are important to carry out future studies to investigate their pharmacokinetics and toxic effects. So I would like to acknowledge research fund of Faculty of Medicine Karapitiya and then I would like to acknowledge uh, technical and non-academic staff members of the departments of biochemistry and microbiology, uh, Faculty of Medicine Karapitiya. I use some uh, references. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, paper is open for questions and discussion now. Ground knowledge helped you to decide to select this particular plant. And what made you to decide that? Anyway, vancomycin has to be, I think that was an assumption that you talked to vancomycin, thinking that vancomycin is much better uh, antibacterial suppressant than the plant. Yes, it was the positive control method. Yeah, so what made you to decide so? Uh, Why can't the plant be better than vancomycin? Because the plant that madam, we use the crude extracts, there may be lots and lots of different chemicals. So uh, the drug is, uh, it's the pure drug. So the isolated active compound is there, but plant is not like that in the crude, that there may be a lot of compounds. But the thing is, uh, we have a lot more to do. We have to isolate the uh, specific compound that is there in the plant, which has the effect. What's the background knowledge for you to select this so, particular plant? Yeah, actually these two plants were using uh, in the skin infections, treating in skin infections from the ancient times in Sri Lankan Ayurvedic medicine. So we uh, use these two plants. Yes, yes. yes. No, now, don't you think that uh, hexane and ethanol per se having some antimicrobial activity and that should have caused the difference? Yes, actually. Uh, so, so, even though we uh, extracted the uh, crudes into the solvent so the solvent is totally evaporated so there is a apparatus called rotary evaporator so we uh, evaporate all the solvent so there is no trace amounts of uh, solvents and also we maintained a, a, a negative another control so we tested that uh, uh, using the uh, uh, dmso and other things that we added to the uh, extract, but there were no effect from that also. We have to end the session now and get on to the next. Thank you very much, Dr. <coughs>